to Barna Tiemann. My name is Jennifer and I work at Westerheim Norwegian American Museum in Decorah, Iowa. And I'm really happy to be with you here today because I have a bunch of things to show you from the museum's collection and they all have to do with shapes. Now you probably know a little bit about shapes. You've probably seen them all around you. You might even know the names for different shapes like circles and rectangles and squares, but you might not know the Norwegian names for those shapes. So today I wanna to share those with you before we look at some of the objects here at the museum. So the first shape that I want to share with you is a circle. And believe it or not, the name for circle in Norwegian is circle. Circle, circle. The name for a square is a little bit different. And you probably know or might remember that a square has four different sides or edges. And that's where you get the Norwegian name from. And the Norwegian name for a square is firkant, firkant. And that means four edges or four, four sides. This shape is a triangle and it has three sides three sort of angles, and you remember that a um, side or an edge in Norwegian is kant, so tre kant, three sides, triangle, tre kant. Once again, very easy word in Norwegian. This is a rectangle, and it has two long sides and two short sides, and in Norwegian, it's called a rectangle, rectangle. So rectangle, rectangle. Same thing for an oval. Now an oval is a little bit different from a circle. A circle uh, is a little bit wider and it doesn't have these sort of longer edges on it, but um, still sort of a rounded shape. So this is an oval in English and an oval in Norwegian. How about this shape? This is a diamond and you can see it has an interesting shape. It sort of looks like a, a square or a rectangle, but it's a diamond. And in Norwegian, it's pronounced diamant, diamant. So diamond, diamant. Maybe you've seen these before. This is a star. And in Norwegian, the word is stierna, stierna. And last, how about a heart? And in Norwegian, the word is yerta, yerta. So heart and yerta. Well, now I want to show you a few of the shapes that you can find in things at the museum. And you maybe have looked all around your house or you've been outside and you've seen shapes too because shapes make up most or all of the things that, that we see around us. So I uh, grabbed a few things from the museum's collection and I'm gonna put on some gloves today to protect those objects from the dirt and oil on my hands. Even though I washed them, they may still not be as clean and I don't want those objects to get dirty. So I'm gonna put these gloves on and then I'm gonna show you some objects that have some shapes in them. First object here looks kind of like a placemat and it's a printed uh, sort of um, textile, a piece of cloth, and maybe you can see some shapes in there. Do you see any rectangles? Do you see any squares? How about some triangles? So can we find a rectangle? Maybe the doors on those buildings? Also got a triangle here, maybe the tops of those buildings. Here's another object from the museum's collection. This is a beautiful piece from a boonad or a folk costume. And it, you would wear it right here for on, a, on a woman or a girl's costume. And it's a beautiful uh, decor decorative part of that costume or dress. And on here, there are lots of different shapes that make up this particular design. How about in the center? Can you find a star? We've also, the whole piece is kind of a, a rectangle 
or maybe it's a square. We have some triangles here. So lots of shapes on this one very small piece. Well, it's going to be getting cold soon, so I pulled out one of the hats from the museum's collection. This is a nice heavy wool stocking cap. And you can see lots of different shapes in this particular piece. What I notice most are some diamonds. Can you find the diamonds? How about a flag? Here's an example of a Norwegian flag. And it's made out of, uh, out of uh, yarn that's, that's made into these little X's that make up this whole big shape. But this big shape, this, this rectangle, is made out of smaller rectangles. And even these blue lines here, rectangles, as well as squares. I have a bowl from the museum. It's got some beautiful rose mauling on it, which is decorative painting. What shape is this bowl? Is it an oval? I don't think so. It looks more to me like a circle. How about these socks? These are some long, big wool socks. Perfect for uh, the cold weather that's coming here soon. What do you see on here? What shapes can you find? Well, I think mostly I see stars on these socks. This is a piece of Hardanger embroidery. Um, it's a kind of cut work embroidery, and I can kind of peek through it and, and see you because bits of the cloth have been taken away after someone has sewn around those pieces. And I see a lot of different shapes on this piece here. Maybe you can help me find some. Um, I see some squares. Do you see some squares? I see what looks like some triangles, too. Can you find some triangles? Lots of different shapes. How about this container here? This is a bentwood box that you could use to put all kinds of things inside. Candy, you could put uh, other kinds of food in here. How about some craft supplies? What shape is this? To me, it looks like an oval. And last here, I have some interesting spoons from the collection. Now, these are wedding spoons. And people who were at a wedding, the bride and the, and the groom, the people who are getting married, would eat with these. So they're kind of fun and, and linked together, but just for, for that occasion. But I was looking at these spoons, and I saw a couple of different shapes. Down here, the bowl of the spoon, so the part that you actually eat out of, the food out of, looks like an oval to me. And if you look right here, you, I think you can see a heart. So all of these things at the museum are made out of shapes. And you can find shapes pretty much anywhere that you look. Now on the museum's uh, website, you can find some activities that relate to shapes. And one thing that you can do is make yourself a shape finder or a sort of spy glass. So you can uh, download that, or you can actually make one of these yourself out of, out of paper, um, cardboard, whatever, you, whatever you'd like. So it just may, you can just make this little shape here that looks kind of like a magnifying glass. And when you look through it, you can see all kinds of shapes. So if I'm looking around my yard, maybe I see some triangles in the trees, 
maybe I see trash cans that are beside my garage and those look like rectangles. So you can use your spyglass, uh, your shape finder to see what kinds of shapes you can find around you. And I didn't take the time today, but you could also decorate this and make it very interesting. Now you don't have to just look around um, your house at things. You might be doing some, uh, some reading at home and there's lots of books, that uh, picture books especially, that have lots of great illustrations. So I happen to like Jan Brett and all of her illustrations. She uses a lot of shapes. So for example, on the uh, cover of this particular book, I think if I were to look at it, I would see a lot of shapes, like circles. Circles, these look kind of like these parts here might be rectangles all kinds of shapes. So you don't have to just look around you, you can look in things like books too for shapes. Well, another thing that you might like to do is to create things out of shapes. And so on the museum's website, there are also some uh, other downloadables, um, some uh, sheets of paper that you can uh, copy and then you can create things out of these shapes. So here we have, um, one uh, sheet from there that has all kinds of shapes and you can make all kinds of little things from those shapes. And there's also some bigger, uh, bigger shapes too to create your own things from. So if you're confused, I made a couple of examples for you uh, for things that you can do with those shapes. So I took the example uh, uh, here and used the triangle to make some mountains. So I made this mountain chain out of here was the center here, was where the uh, triangle was, and then I just created a mountain chain by adding more triangles and even started to add some trees over here in the corner. Maybe you want to make some fun things that, uh, maybe things that you see, but you want to be a little creative with them, and, and you can do that too. So here's a picture of a sun that I made using the circle. Um, and made it to kind of a happy sun with a fun, smiley face. Well, I hope that you enjoy looking for shapes around you, and I hope that you also learned a little bit uh, about shapes, not only in the museum's collection, but also the Norwegian names for, for those shapes. So enjoy your time uh, looking for shapes and creating with shapes, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks so much.